right, so El Mencho and El Cholo. Now, El Cholo was a lieutenant in El Mencho's cartel, CJNG. Cartel Jalisco New Generation. That's El Mencho. It's one of the most powerful cartels, right? And that's El Mencho when he got captured. Now, El Mencho... No, no, El Cholo was a lieutenant in El Mencho's cartel. I'm going to call it El Mencho's cartel instead of CJNG because it's easier to say it that way. Now, El Cholo had dreams of being rich, famous, and he had dreams of being the number one top guy. Being a lieutenant in one of the most powerful cartels in Mexico wasn't good enough for him, so he decided to create his own cartel. Problem is, you were a member of El, El Mencho's cartel. So if you start your own cartel, that means you're going to have to steal resources that he had to build your new organization. El Mencho didn't like that. El Cholo killed El Mencho's financier, and he killed a lot of his high-ranking Cesarios, uh, Sicarios, right? So El Cholo wasn't playing games, and he was also giving information to the Sinaloa cartel about El Mencho's cartel, which is their arch enemy. El, El Chapo and El Mencho don't like each other. El Cholo exploited that gap. Alright, so this is El Cholo. Hold on, let me give you some. Hold on. Just, just take a listen, man, because El Cholo's a wild boy. Oh, internet. The hell is wrong with my internet? A video was released online depicting El Cholo captured and surrounded by heavily armed CJNG Sicarios. The video is essentially a brief confession from El Cholo where he states that he is supported by high-ranking police chief Omar Garcia Harfouk. Let's take a listen. My name is Carlos Enrique Sánchez Martínez, Alex El Cholo, originario de Guadalajara, Jalisco. No veo esta situación por ser contra la institución en fin. Eh, me encontré en el Distrito Federal con Omar García Harfouk. Todas las de Tonalá, la que paque, la comulga. G. I met with Omar Garcia Harfouk in the federal district so that he could give me his backing. This is due to us both being after the CJNG, and he did give me his full support, but he told me that he needed something relevant in return so that I could operate with his support. This is El Cholo, the translation. The and so I kicked everything off. All of the crimes that took place in the local area, I am personally responsible for. And I myself called the authorities so that they would turn everything into a heightened police matter. The individuals who sponsor support here in this taking care of your families so that you don't end up like me. The last part of that state or many that are still left supporting me, it's best for your own good to just start taking care of your families so that you don't end up like me. Mm. The last part of that statement is pretty chilling, if you ask me. Shortly after this, El Cholo would be brutally murdered by CJNG Sicario. No, El Cholo. He wasn't given a quick death. Shortly after the interrogation video was released, a body was found in Guadalajara. The body was tightly wrapped in black plastic, with notes stabbed into the body. One of the notes simply read, El Cholo the traitor. Although this was revenge against El Cholo, it was also a public statement not to mess with CJNG. It's believed that the body was dropped off during the daytime. The corpse was soon taken for autopsy, which is where the signs of torture became apparent. He wasn't given a quick death. It's believed that he was subjugated to hours of savagery. Seven of his toes were broken mm. and one toe was cut off. He suffered numerous broken ribs and to immobilize him, both of his legs were basically destroyed. So in both legs, they broke his tibia, patella, and femur. He also had various knife lacerations. And most disturbingly, all while he was alive, his eyes were gouged out. Oh, man. See, so El Cholo had this idea that, okay, I'm a lieutenant in El Mencho's cartel. I've got all of these soldiers who are loyal to me. So why not just start my own cartel and make my own money and get my own drug routes? Problem with that, El Mencho is not going to be happy. But El Cholo feels like I can ally myself with El Chapo, who hates El Mencho, give them secret information about CJNG since I was just a lieutenant in that cartel, and he thought he could get away with it. And the whole time he was still living in Mexico. You do not betray El Mencho and then still live in Mexico. I mean, El Cholo, 
He was a killer, he was a drug dealer, he was a Sicario, and you've seen he, earlier on he admitted that he caused all of these, these, uh, these, these, these public acts of terrorism because he wanted to uh, create a heightened sense of, uh, I don't know what he, I don't know, understand, I don't know if they made him say that or if he really did do that to start a, to, to create this heightened panic so that uh, maybe El Mencho's cartel couldn't deliver like they want, I don't know, but El Cholo is a warning story, don't be like El Cholo, 